Hi everyone, this is Pete here. So today I want to do a review on the Crypto.com debit card, right? That is really the rave right now. And I've got one right here, which is the Ruby version. Okay, and I'll talk about what I use it for. Why do I think this is really quite a good card? The most important thing is this. Why am I staking another $50,000 to upgrade this card? Let's get straight to it. First and foremost, let's go through what are the benefits of the Crypto.com Visa card. You can see here there are different tiers ranging from Midnight Blue all the way to the Obsidian level. The main thing about this is it's a cashback card. Now, what is a cashback card? Do you actually get cash? No, you actually get the native token of the platform which is known as CRO. So for Midnight Blue, you get 1% and the Ruby Steel which is the one that I have here, you get 2% and so on and so forth up to Obsidian level that you get 8%. I think they should call it the Obscene level, not the Obsidian level. But there are other benefits right here. So you can see right now there are other card benefits. For example, if you go higher tier, you get a full rebate for your Spotify subscription, your Netflix subscription, Amazon Prime, and you get 10% rebate on Expedia, Airbnb, and you can even have airport lounges, so on and so forth. Right? So it seems like this is quite a standard credit card benefit that many people out there do offer. The main key thing is this. I like the fact that I can get up to 8% rebate Realistically, I think most people will be able to either be getting a 5% rebate or a 3% rebate. Now, the key word here is that it is rewarded in the CRO coin. So what I personally do is each time I receive the CRO reward, I will actually convert it out into stable coin so that regardless of the fluctuation of CRO, I still get my rebate in US dollars. Next, I want to share with you why am I staking up to $50,000 to upgrade my current Ruby Steel card into the Rose Gold card. And it's actually just one very small line in the benefits that is increasing my crypto yielding. Now you can see over here, the crypto.com earn system actually allows you to earn uh, staking rewards, right? Earn rewards on your crypto. Okay, so let's scroll down to take a look what are the possible limits, right? So if you change this to Sing dollars, it will tell you based on your tokens. For example, if I'm staking the USDC, okay, and I'm staking, let's say $5,000 for a term of three months, okay, uh, for 5K, I will actually receive 12%, right? So if you scroll all the way down, you can see over here, right? Right, for example, if I'm doing flexible, of course, it's a very poor rate, okay? But if one month, I get 6.5% on Bitcoin, 7.5% on Ethereum, and Tether, I get 12% USDC, I get 12% as well. But if I'm willing to stake it for more than a month, up to three months, what I'll get is actually 8.5% for BTC, 8.5% for Ethereum, and USDC, USDT, I get 14%. So that is the main draw for me because, yes, I do have to stake $50,000 of CRO coins to get the benefit of this card. But in addition... I do get a higher yield. So with my own calculation, I think I can actually get back the 50,000 value that I stake in the coin in about nine months time of all my staking. And after that, basically all the benefit I get from this card would be free. So my caveat here is that yes, this strategy is really more for people who are more serious into crypto yielding like myself. You have anything more than like 300,000 to half a million worth of crypto yielding. And that is because for crypto earn, at the frosted gold level, they actually increase your maximum deposit up to 1 million, right? Increasing from half a million to 1 million level. So that's my main draw for why I want to change my crypto.com card from this ruby steel into the frosted rose gold that is coming really soon. So guys, I'll do an update video on how this whole unit is going after one or two months, all right? Do stay tuned. So once again, let me know if there's any other better yielding strategies out there in the comments, all right? Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.